You have privately hoped for a more affirmative answer. Could you wake me up if you have to leave? Cole looked confused by the request, but he nodded anyway. No, okay. You smiled. At least he wouldn't disappear without you knowing. You sh uh, you set it in, uh, in for bed on the ground, closing your eyes and waiting for sleep to come. You wanted to give Cole a chance to get comfortable. Surprisingly, he decided to keep talking. This was my this was my first sleepover. It is, I guess. You open your eyes to see him staring up at the ceiling. His seam foam hair spread out around his head like he'd just gotten shocked. Really? I've had sleepovers before. Sometimes I go to friends' houses. Shishiro slept over a few times, too, and other stuff. Cole uh, yeah. wow. remained quiet. The silence stressed between you, uh, between you uh, but it didn't feel awkward right now. You didn't feel the need to break, uh, break it immediately. How was it? Or well, is it? Hmm. Yeah, it's not bad. I like reading your book. You did? I kind of thought you weren't having fun. You didn't really say anything when we were eating. I don't know what to say. Oh. Now you were the only one who didn't know what to say. You just lied there, and so did Cove, for what felt like a long time. Hey, Cove? There was no answer. You, uh, you lean on your elbow to see Cove's uh, eyes closed, his lashes of... Fanned over the apple of his cheeks, uh, his chest rise and lowered with every inhale and exhale. He was fast asleep. You smiled to yourself. Good night. You rest on your back and close your eyes. Soon enough, you were lulled uh, to sleep by the gentle sounds of Cole's breathing. The next morning, you were woken, uh, woken by the sound of Mom's voice and a soft shake of your shoulder. Elijah, wake up! It's time to get up, uh, up and Adams. The sun was peeking through your curtains, and you looked at your eyes as they adjust to the new light. Is everything okay down there? You blinked at Mom for a moment, confused before remembering you had slept down on the floor next to Cove. He was just waking up, yawning loudly. It hit, his hand lightly hit your face as he stretched out. When you moved away, you groaned a little at the pain in your shoulder from having slept on the hard ground. It definitely wasn't as comfortable as your cozy bed, that's for sure. Cole wasn't feeling good, so I stayed with him. You mumbled and glanced at Cole, who was rubbing at his eyes sleepily. He didn't say anything. Still, you were glad he had decided to stay the night in the end. When you looked at Mom next, she was smiling at you both. Mommy was standing in the doorway behind her, doing the same thing. Alright, kids. We'll be downstairs making breakfast. Don't take too long coming down. She said something to Mommy on her way out that made the two of them giggle. Did you sleep okay? You stood up and stretched your legs, watching Cole fumble with, uh, fumble with beside a uh, drawer and, pu and pulled out his glasses. Um, I think so. He had been able to relax when it was just two of you in the night. Now that a new day had come, he had given the impression of feeling out of place again. But the smile on his face had, had a gentle light. Thanks, Elijah. You're welcome. Even if you couldn't be a perfect time, it was worth it. Cove didn't stay for breakfast. He really was ready to go at that point. Mommy called to make sure Mr. Holland was up before Cove went home. He gave you a small wave as he left, thank uh, thanking your moms for letting him stay, before he disappeared through the front door. He smiled at the sight. Cove's very uh, sleepover had come to an end.
I'm Gifundo Elijah Foots, and thank you for watching this video. Uh, this is just the sleepover part, and I will do the rest on a later date. So, bye, have a happy New Year's, and a Merry Christmas, even though the Merry Christmas part is late by now when you see this, but have a happy New Year's, and I hope this year is wonderful. Bye!